Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Secrets for an Inspirational Life. How are you all today? I hope that you are well and feeling fine, and that there is a little bit of effervescent joy rippling there from your hearts and your souls. Now, in these times, it seems sometimes very difficult to find that place of sanctuary and peace, which is something that really we all desire and crave for. There can be so much noise out there, you know, when you've just had enough of so many people talking and walking and doing all sorts of things that really vibrationally disturb our spirit, not intentionally sometimes, and sometimes intentionally, but we must rise above it in some way and find that place within us, that secret place where we can find the purpose for everything that we do. Because I believe, and I talk also about myself here, that unless we have a purpose, unless we know our purpose, our life cannot move along in the way that it's destined to. We must somehow find that courage to find the silence within us, to find that serenity, and there we will find all the answers. Now, I am absolutely delighted to welcome back my guest today, who has been a real success, I have to say to you. And a lot of you have asked about him and wanted him back. So you see, I I aim to please. And we have back on the show, Joby Bowie, who is a shamanic healer and breathwork expert. Now, just to recap a little bit about Joby, Joby endured multiple near-death misses that sent him on a journey of deep healing to overcome many traumas. And after many years of research into different realms of work, it led him into the shamanic and transformational path, I would say. And that is now allowing him to help clients and people all over the world with his special and rather specific gift. Joby helps people to transform in all aspects of their life, you know, mind, body, spirit. He assists all sorts from all walks of life. And I say all sorts because I'm not going to, you know, on the human realm, in all sorts of realms. And he helps to clear anxiety and trauma, fear and worries. And he teaches us how to recover from major adversities to the path of reconnecting to our true selves. And we have a very special episode today because Joby is going to help us, all of us, myself included, do something rather mystical and magical. And that is to meet our personal dragon. And also to delve a little bit deeper into ourselves, because these types of methods of meditation are all part of this incredible journey of life that we are all here to share together. So, without further ado, I welcome dear Joe B. Hello. Hello. I'm fine. How are you? Lovely. Thank you for the great introduction again. Yeah, you're very welcome. Mm. You, it's very well deserved, I have to say. It feels so long since the last episode. It's gone I so know, quick. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know it hasn't been that long, but it feels somehow mm. that all sorts of things have happened in between, Joby, and yeah. um, sometimes it feels like lifetimes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's gone really quick, but I'm so happy to be back. I know I'm happy that you're back. Tell us a little bit about before... Okay, so before we, you tell us a little about what you're doing at the moment, let's have a little recap just for the listeners. Yeah. Tell us a little bit 
about what you do. Okay, perfect. So the main thing I do is, as you sort of said in the uh, introduction, is I help people get over anxiety, fear, stress, worries, uh, traumas, illnesses, and I help people basically empower themselves uh, through the breath, uh, through breath work, meditation, and um, many different forms of like shamanic healing and practices, um, really to help people step into their true power and um, and walk the path that they deserve to be walking as well. So, so yeah, there, there's a lot. <laughs> there's, there's a lot, lot we do. There's and a lot we a, do, yeah. And on the sort of worldly level, what sort of things can you help um, people with, um, practically speaking? Yeah, so we, we help people really clear the mind. There's a lot of stress in the world right now, isn't there? And mm. it's uh, a lot of people under this uncertain terms of we don't know what's going on we don't know where we're going so a lot of people naturally start creating a story in their mind of bad things are going to happen and then that's when anxiety and fear and worry comes in um so i help people really create a new story a new story of of love and happiness and joy um living living in your highest good and um, really being able to empower yourself through yourself. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just the guy, like even as you say, like I'm a healer, uh, the work I do, I get people to unlock their inner healing wisdom that's within. That's quite a deep and meaningful work. And I know mm. that it took you a lot to get to that point, sort of walking through the fire, so to speak, and the chasm of fire. Mm -hmm. in order for you then to be able to turn those healing gifts to help others. You went through a lot in your life. Yeah, I've had uh, multiple near-death misses, six or seven near-death misses, um, major traumas, uh, got hit on the head by a uh, scaffold fitting from 70 foot. And uh, yeah, I was given 2% chance to live. Um, I've hemorrhaged through my nose uh, for 24 hours. Um, I've had car accidents. Yeah, there's been there's been a lot, and um, every single one I'm so grateful for now because they've given me so much strength and wisdom and deeper connection into um, the spiritual realms and into the work I'm doing now as well. So it's uh, everything happens for a reason and. Um, mm. I'm very, very, very grateful. <laughs> yes, I'm very lucky, I have to say, amongst all of that. And you're really an inspiration, Joby. Thank I've spoken you. to so many people after the podcast, oh, wow. um, the last podcast episode. I spoke to so many people that were asking about you, and they actually couldn't even believe that you're still here, thankfully, with <laughs> us. It's, it's just such a momentous and tremendous story of, of what you've been through. And Really, it's not a surprise that you are now helping people because really everybody who goes through this suffering and pain and deep transformation, I believe, is a healer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, without a doubt. The more pain, the more pain you go through, the better the healer you're going to be. Because yeah. you, you can help people through that process as well. And uh, it might, might be really bad and painful at the time, but there's always a gift within the shadow. Yes, absolutely. And I don't know if you know about this. I read something recently um, about healers that are obviously vessels, I believe. I, I think that we are all a vessel of the power of good. And you know, because darkness and light, it coexists in any case. But I read somewhere that when people go through extraordinarily difficult illnesses, um, situations and traumas, in different parts of the world, it's actually considered a good thing because at that point, that healer or clairvoyant or whoever is actually moving on to the next spiritual level. Have you heard this? Uh, yes, absolutely. Some of the uh, indigenous tribes, uh, mm. they'll, they'll, they'll actually have a, a party if, uh, if someone's going through something. They'll celebrate because they've got another healer in the village. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just, it's, it's remarkable, isn't it? The way that we 
look at things so differently here in the West, I think. But it's such a beauty that although there is much um, unhappiness in the world, if we could only transform that within ourselves and, you know, be the alchemists of our own life. Yes, exactly. That, that, that's what it's all about. And uh, mm. I've actually got some really nice techniques I'd like to share today for for clearing energy and, yes. um, and tra- transmuting energy. I think it'll be really helpful for for people in these um, testing times. And yeah. um, I feel that we can um, we can really help some people with your with your uh, audience today. Hopefully, we can inspire and. Um, help people just live their best life. Excellent. Now, you have some very special things prepared. Mm -hmm. Um, So I just want to say to the listeners that uh, Joby does so many different things, but we were having this conversation before, and um, I wanted him to come and share some of these precious and luminous gifts of his where he can actually take us through a guided meditation and do some breathing work, I believe, Uh that can hopefully, as you're listening, I'm definitely going to be joining you, um, as um, you're listening, um, wherever you are in the world, in your private moment, um, you can take the benefit and actually hopefully take the first step towards your own healing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we are all uh, we are all uh, capable of healing anything within the mind, the body, and the spirit. Um, it's just about unlocking that that wisdom within, and that wisdom is far greater than we could ever comprehend. Um, but it's just a matter of tuning in and and just really starting the process. It doesn't matter what you're going through; you can get through it. Okay, wonderful. So tell us a little bit now. We're going to, how many exercises are there that you're going to share with us? Okay, so I've got a couple of different breathing techniques just to really help um, Mm -hmm. calm the mind, get you relaxed, get you energized. Um, Mm -hmm. And this would also help us going into the meditation as well. So uh, it will hopefully roll on and into that in a very easy and effortlessly way. Okay, so. So that people who haven't done this type of thing before and who haven't experienced it and would like to experience it, Joby. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes people are a little bit cautious and, you of know, course. and some people, you know, it, it's not easy to meet oneself, I have to say. No. It takes courage. <laughs> yes, it takes courage indeed. But so we're going to do some breathing exercises and then what are we going to do with regards to the dragon? Okay, Tell us a little so, bit what that entails. So we're gonna basically we're gonna meet your personal dragon. The dragons are wisdom keepers keepers of the universe. Uh, they are uh, very, very loving. Um, the way they've been portrayed in in films is um, such the opposite to what they actually are. Uh, they bring us strength, they bring us courage, they the highest form of uh, protection um, that you could even think of for your for your spiritual growth and bringing you knowledge and wisdom. And they are beautiful, beautiful beings, and uh, they're coming down now into the earth because the earth's raising the vibration so much. They're actually allowed to able to come back into the earth plane now. And this is why so many people are waking up saying, "I've just seen a dragon," or "I've been meditation, I've just had a dragon," or mm. uh, through breath work or different ceremonies that dragons come to me i had a dragon and you're hearing it more and more often especially with the ceremonies i do we do so many mm. and then people are like i had a purple dragon i had a red dragon i had a green dragon i had a blue dragon and all these different dragons are really coming in to help and guide us now and if you actually get to meet the dragon um, that means you're you're on the right path, and they're there to help and guide you. Um, so yeah, this mm-hmm. uh, it's very special. But the way they have been portrayed in films, uh, they're this big nasty energy is uh, is completely wrong, completely wrong, and very rude actually. I yes, say. it's actually it an offence to them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how rude! How rude! Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to let you lead the way. Okay, perfect. And um, guide us. Okay, okay. let's go. 
Perfect. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, so just sit back, relax. First thing we're going to do, we're going to actually get connected to the breath because the breath is the life force of everything. And, you know, we can go days without food when we're fasting, but you try going a couple of minutes without your breath. Um, it really is. It gives us energy. It ignites us. It gives us focus, clarity. Um, it really can transform us. It can relax us. It can take us into mystical states. And the thought of just being able to just sit for a couple of minutes and the breath awareness. So this is a fundamental of breath work. So just sit back, close your eyes for a minute and just allow the breath to breathe you. Feel the sensations of the breath coming in. Is in through the nose, through the mouth, through the, into the chest, into the belly? Is it deep? Is it fast? Is it slow? Really tune in. Listen to the sensations of the breath coming in. Feel the sensations. Where does the breath go in the body? Really tune in. <coughs> Excuse me for a second. So really just shut your eyes. Just allow in the breath to breathe you like we're asleep. You know, we breathe 30,000 times a day on an average. And half the time, we don't even know we're doing it. So just allow the breath to come in. And you can do this for long enough. And it actually takes you into a real nice form of meditation. So this is really a perfect way to, to start any meditation. Just sit, watch, connect. Just feel the sensations. If you feel like you're breathing into the chest... You want to take stop that immediately because that's your sympathetic nervous system. That's where anxiety and stress comes in in a fly and fight mode. So you want to just breathe down into the lower belly so you can put your hands on the belly. And just, fit, just breathe into there yourself just to get the action going or focus. And your breath will naturally go there. Wherever we focus, energy flows. So just allow that sensations to come in and out, feel it in the body, feel the breath moving and swirling within you. And it's truly magical. The more you connect in with the breath awareness, the more you heighten your senses, which naturally allows us to raise our vibration and our consciousness. And then we can just be relaxed. And then we can go into conscious breathing. So this is actually us creating the patterns, taking over and allowing us to breathe in and out ourselves. So we can take a breath in through the nose and just make a nice sigh and just relax. And just feel your shoulders drop in, relaxing the jaw and just take a nice few breaths in. Sign is a nature's way of releasing energy and tension within the body. It gets you more focused and aligned. So just allow that to, to just naturally flow. <sighs> just do that a couple of times. <sighs> you can either do it in through the nose or in through the mouth. Just really feel yourself relaxing and getting deeper into the process. And then you'll start feeling the sensations as you're breathing in. And then you're bringing breath awareness in with breath consciousness. And you're tying the two together. Then we can go into a, a breath hold. So we can breathe in. Hold in the breath. And when we hold the breath, this actually allows us to align, be centered. And it brings us into the very now, present moment, which is all we have. But it really gets you aligned. And we can set intentions. We can set, start our manifestation process. Anything we want to release or bring into our life. And then we can just slowly breathe out, very softly and gently. And then we can hold the breath again. Just focusing in. And when we hold the breath, we're actually changing the patterns and the pathways within the brain. Changing the chemistry, changing the physiology of the body. 
we're getting more and more relaxed and each more you sit in with just holding your breath you'll start feeling them sensations of the breath moving around you, the oxygen moving around your body and then we can just take a nice breath in and then just release with another sigh and just allow yourself to relax getting deeper and deeper into the process and then we're going to drop into the heart this is a new uh, 5D tech technology, I suppose, uh, a new transmutation that I've been given, and um, I think it's gonna really help you as well. So we can drop into the heart. We can hold our hands on the heart, and we can just say, thank you, beautiful heart, that beats for me every day. Thank you for taking all negative energy, all traumas, pains, anxieties, all stress, all worries, anything that's ever put me in a lower nature and I ask you to transform all of this energy and turn it into a big ball of light and you breathe in just allow all of that energy to be placed in your heart feel your heart turning into a big ball of light and then we just put it up and we send it off into the universe with love, peace and harmony and just let it go because it doesn't serve you anymore. It's time to raise our vibration. It's time to feel good and happy. And it really is time to transform our lives. So we can just do that one more time, just so you get used to it. So just go into the heart, put your hands on the heart. Thank you, beautiful heart that beats for me every day. Thank you for taking all the negative energies, all the traumas, all the pains, all the anxieties, fears, worries, anything I've ever been through has put me in a lower nature, lowered my vibration, hurt me, whatever it may be, turn it into a ball of love and light. And we breathe in, and we send it off into the universe with love, peace and harmony, and just let it go. And now you should start feeling nice and cleansed, and you can do this as many times as you choose. And uh, this is the start of start off your healing process this is unlocking your healing mechanism and wisdom you can do that many times as you like no matter what you're going through or have been through just allow the heart to really transmute that energy for you turn the lead into gold be the alchemist free your mind your body your soul your spirit of any pains traumas and worries just release and let it go nice breathing techniques and then we can go back into the heart and as now we've cleansed our energy we can now put a ball of heart light all around us so we go into our heart thank you for clearing the energy my beautiful heart thank you for now taking all of the positive all of the love all of the joy everything within me and making a beautiful ball of light to surround me at the highest light frequency and resonance that I can be and you breathe in, you allow the heart to build a beautiful ball of love and light, the highest frequency that you can be, and you breathe out, <sighs> big sigh, and you allow that ball of energy to surround you, 360 degrees, surrounding you, protecting you, and this ball of light is impenetrable, no negative energy can penetrate at any time. When you're in your heart space, you can create and be whoever you want. Okay, so that should be a nice bit of energy clearing for you. Just a nice couple of breathing techniques to, to help you. And we'll be using a couple of these techniques as we go through the, through the meditation. Uh, but I'm just going to play with a little bit of music. Get, a, get yourself nice and relaxed. Okay, so we start off just by calling in our angels, calling in the guides, and we start off with Archangel Raphael, the healing magician of the East. We ask you to surround us in your green emerald energy, filling us with your love and light. Place your healing hands upon me. Free me of any worries and stress. Bless me with your 
green emerald energy in your caduceus wand healing anything that needs to be healed cleansing anything that needs to be cleansed purifying anything that needs to be purified and it feels so good to know you're here with me now with lots of love and respect oh and we call upon Archangel Michael the warrior angel of the south element of fire we ask you to join us today with your mighty sword of fire and truth We ask you to cut away all cords and ties that bind me to people, places and situations, that anything that's ever lowered my energy. I ask you to give me strength, courage, peace, harmony and guide me into my journey ahead. With lots of love and respect. It feels so good to know you're here with me now. Aho. And we call upon our mighty powerful Archangel Gabriel in the West. We call upon you. We ask you to come and shine your diamond white fire upon us, healing our emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies. We ask you to bring out our inner child, make us laugh, make us smile, bring us fun, joy, and happiness, and nothing but unconditional love into our life with lots of love and respect. It feels so good to know you're here with us now. Oh. And then we go to the north and we call upon Archangel Uriel. We ask you to come and shine your light upon us. We ask you to keep us grounded deep into Mother Earth. We ask you to surround us in your red ruby fire. We ask you to protect us and keep us safe and heal whatever needs to be healed. Fill us with knowledge and wisdom. Fill us with your divine intelligence. And it feels so good to know you're here with us now. With lots of love and respect. Aho. And we call upon my powerful Archangel Sandophon to come up from Mother Earth with the crystalline grid through our feet, our legs, our stomach, and into our hearts, purifying every cell in our being, freeing the mind, the body, the soul of any worries, any troubles, raising our vibration and making us feel good and happy. Lots of love and respect. It feels so good to know you're here with us now. Oh, and we call upon my powerful Archangel Metatron from above. We ask you to surround us and seal this cocoon of Archangel energy. Blessing us with your Merkaba, surrounding us 360 degrees in the walls, the ceilings, the doors, the windows, the floors, protecting us and keeping us safe. We ask you to touch, light up and activate all of our chakras. We ask you to surround us with your love and light. Clear any debris within our bodies. Free our mind, our body, the soul. And thank you for allowing us to be under your guidance and connecting us to the central sun. We have lots of love and respect. It feels so good to know you're here with us now. Oh. Okay. And then just sitting back, we'll take a nice breath in. Fill yourself up. Fill yourself up with love and light. And as we release, we're gonna send love out to the world and back into ourselves. <sighs> just feel the energy coming back down in you, transforming all of your cells, your bones, your blood, your DNA. Just taking a minute, just really be calm and relaxed. Just taking another breath in. And we ask all of the guardian angels, the spirit guides. We ask our higher self and I am presence. We ask all of our spiritual team, all of the highest light resonance, all those that work with us, to be with us, surround us, support us, protect us, guide us and keep us safe. Take another breath in. Just really. Just filling yourself with love, peace and harmony with every in-breath. 
Just really relaxing, relax your shoulders, relax the jaw. Feel your body getting heavier and heavier, heavier. Okay. So we're now gonna go deep within. And we're gonna look for a door. A door might be a portal, it might be an arch. However you see it, it might be a door of light. And we ask you to find this door deep within. Knowing that Archangel Michael is there guiding the way, protecting you and keeping you safe. And we ask Archangel Michael to show us the way to the door if we cannot find the door. And as we go through the door, you're gonna go into sacred lands, either a forest, the mountains, the sea, up into the cosmos, wherever you, your portal takes you. And we ask you to now call upon your personal dragon, Personal dragon, I now call upon you. I ask you to come and meet me. Come and share your energy with me as I share my energy with you. I ask you to bless me with your strength and your courage. I ask you to come and work with me now on a more deeper level. I ask you for permission to connect. And as you're waiting for your dragon to arrive, just take a nice breath in, so you're nice and relaxed. There's nothing to be frightened of. The dragons are here to protect you and keep you safe. And deep into the distance, you start feeling the wind change, but you start seeing a something coming towards you, a big, mighty, powerful dragon of the highest light resonance. Feel the dragon getting closer as it flaps its wings, feel the air changing around you, connecting with the dragon as it comes deeper in, feel your breath connecting with this breath. Dragon swirling around you up above. Feel the size of the dragon. Feel the strength of the dragon. Feel it getting closer and closer. Feel the dragon descending down upon you. Coming down and down. Landing with a mighty thud. Connecting with you, eye to eye contact, building your bond, feel the strength, feel the energy, feel the love of the dragon, feel his heart connecting with your heart. Feel the heart blessing every cell in your body with nothing but love and peace and harmony. Know you are protected and you are safe. Really taking all of the details of the dragon. What color is the dragon? Feel the depth of the scales of the dragon. Feel the warmth of the breath. Ask permission to 
know the dragon's name. My beautiful dragon, I kindly ask you, what is your name? My beautiful dragon, what realm have you came? And just take a minute to connecting with your dragon. If there's any personal questions, any personal issues that you need help with, allow the dragon to use his magic and release and cleanse, purge, purify anything that needs healing, anything that needs your strength. Just go through your own little personal questions that you might have for the dragon. Anything that you need in your life, they're there to guide and assist and bring you love, bring you happiness, bring you joy. Just really taking time to bond, connect, Bind your union with the dragon. Taking your time. Feel the warmth, feel the love. Feel the knowledge, the wisdom. The depth of the dragon. Taking all of the details, all of the scales. Feel nothing but love coming from the dragon, healing you, cleansing you, purifying your mind, your body, your soul. The dragon might put you in a ring of sacred fire. It might bathe you in, in water. It might breathe upon you with the element of air. It might ground you. Whatever you need, ask the dragon to reveal to you what you need to know. And ask the dragon, may you have permission to go for a ride to really seal and bind the bond. And if the dragon gives you permission to go on on a ride for a flight. Climb upon the dragon, feel your feet and his hands deep within the scales, making sure you're safe and secure from the dragon. Just really feel the, the depth of the scales, feel the strength of the dragon. Feel the mighty, mighty power. As the dragon starts to flap its wings and you lift off. Feel yourself going higher and higher and the landscape of where you was gets smaller and smaller. And allow the dragon to take you to either a volcano, a waterfall, wherever you may need cleansing. Allow the dragon to take you where you need to go. Allow the dragon to guide you into the purification. If it's by the volcano, allow the dragon to drop you off at the rim of the volcano and walk down into the volcano, into the liquid fire, knowing you're 100% safe. 
And if it's the waterfall, allow him to take you to the waterfall so you can step into the water and be cleansed and purified by Mother Nature. Just taking your time, knowing your dragon is waiting for you while you step into either the waterfall or the volcano, wherever you've been taken. Cleansing, purifying, purging yourself within the liquid, either the liquid fire or the liquid waterfall, either or, know you're cleansed and pur purging all that doesn't serve you anymore, allow all of the negative energies, anything that has ever brought you a lower nature, and we're going to go into the heart space while we're there, all of that negative energy, Anything that's ever been brought upon us, we draw it into the heart and we get a heart to pour it into a big ball of light. We take a breath in. Thank you, my beautiful heart, for blessing me and beating for me every day. Thank you for taking all this negative energy, all traumas, pains, anxieties, fears, worries. I ask you to now transmute it into a ball of light and we send it off into the waterfall or down into the liquid fire, wherever you may be. And we send it off with love, peace and harmony. Know that it can never return again. <sighs> Cleansing, purifying, purging, anything that doesn't serve us, anything that is of a lower nature, just keep going into your heart. Turn it into a ball of light, dissolve it, transmute it, and send it off into the universe with love and light. <sighs> Letting go, surrendering completely into the process. Surrendering, letting go, releasing of all the old. Nothing serves us anymore. And slowly start coming back. Going back to where your dragon dropped you off, where they await. Feel the difference in your energy, cleansed and purified. Feeling light. Release to all of them energies that no longer serve you anymore. And as you go back to your dragon, climb back onto the back of the dragon, back into the scales, locking your feet and hands into the scale so you're safe. And as the dragon takes off, feel the wings flapping, taking you higher and higher. The landscape below you getting smaller and smaller. And the dragon takes you back to where you first met. And as you come back, swirling around the landscape, slowly getting closer and closer to, to where you first took off. Feel the dragon slowly landing. Feel the dragon now just bowing his head, allowing you to dismount with ease and grace. And you thank your dragon. You thank the dragon for blessing you and keeping you safe, giving you strength, courage, filling you with love and light. Thank you for the healing that you have received today. And know that you can call upon your dragon now anytime. And the more you call its name, the more it'll be by your side. 
And now we go back through the door that took you to the land, back into the portal. As you come back through the door, we take a nice breath in. <sighs> Thank you. We come back through the door and into our bodies. Slowly coming back. And before we open our eyes, we just give thanks to all of our spiritual team, all of the Archangels, Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Sandophon, Metatron. Thank you. Thank you for holding space. Thank you for protecting me and keeping me safe. Thank you to our higher self and I am presence. Thank you to the guardian angels, the spirit guides. All of our spiritual team that guides us with every step that we take and every breath that we breathe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done, it is done, and so it is. Oh, if you slowly start just opening your eyes, wiggling your fingers, your toes, having a little stretch, coming back into your body. Feel the difference within your body, knowing you are cleansed, you are purified, you are charged. Clarity, focus for the day ahead. And slowly start, have a little stretch if you need to have a stretch. And as always, my work here comes with lots of blessings and nothing but unconditional love. I hope this serves you well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. There you go, people. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little bit of breath work and meditation. I hope you feel nice and relaxed and calm. And uh, thank you for, uh, for listening to me to the end. Absolutely amazing, really. Uh, I found it as if I was five again, Joby, <laughs> in some sort of a fairy tale. <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's so powerful. Mm. Well, what colour was your dragon? Did you meet your dragon? Green. Green, ah, oh, perfect. Green's like the earth. Yes, green, and there was a pink one as well. Oh, really? It might have been Kwan Yin's pink dragon. <laughs> Mm. It was rather delightful, I have yeah. to say. I felt that really that I was a child again. Yeah. It, I love it that. sort of really, really relaxed me. But your voice mm. is very powerful as well. So I think that has a lot to do with it. Because I think it was just anyone doing it, it wouldn't work. But whatever you're doing energetically and with the breath and everything is what takes you into this sort of trance like state. Mm. Thank you so um, much no, for doing it's my, that. It's my pleasure. I've actually would like to, um, if it's okay with you, I've got some dragon cards. So yes, it'd be nice to yeah. maybe uh, just put a, a card for the collective and a little message for everyone, if that's okay with you. Of course, of course. Absolutely okay. So what are these? Are these your dragon cards? Or? Uh, they're not, well, I own them, but I didn't design them. <laughs> really? Okay. No, they're, they're, they're from Diana Cooper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so let's just. Okay. So, uh, Amiga Dragon, uh, uh, harness the divine feminine power of creation, intention. Hold your vision and birth the higher consciousness. Oh. Wow. You don't get much a higher card than the Amiga Dragon. Wow. Beautiful. So well, that's another, very lovely. Uh, yeah, so that's a very nice one for the uh, collective about birthing our higher consciousness. I don't think that could have been any more apt with us. Um, clear, clear. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And now tell us one. Can we do another one? 
Of course, do one whenever you want. Okay. We so could do a uni- we could do a unicorn one. We could do guardian angels, fairies. Do whatever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, <laughs> you choose. Follow your inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to get everyone to meet their unicorns. To be honest, because they're my favourite. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just beautiful. So so beautiful. So, and they're really here to help bring this new consciousness uh, into into play now as well. So. So do you have, um, like, unicorn cards as well? I, I did, but I actually um, I give them to someone as a present. Um, so I've actually got to get another set. So, But, yes, the unicorn, some unicorn cards are uh, amazing as well. So Now, I want, there's so many things I want to ask you, but one of the things <sighs> I wanted to ask you is how, um, how do you live? It's, it might be a strange question, but I want to ask people, how do you live um, a normal, I'm going to say normal, I'm going to say earthly life, and then keep your feet on the ground, Joby, as well as delving into these other realms and existences? How do you keep that balance, that equilibrium? Um, through breath work. <laughs> okay. My, mind you, that takes me to mystical spaces very quickly. So um, it's just a matter of grounding into Mother Earth. And the more you can ground into Mother Earth and be in nature, um, you'll have that, that nice balance. Um, Mother Earth is really, really expanding at the moment. And her energies are vibrating at the highest probably ever been um so yes uh, it's an amazing time to uh, to really get connected in with mother earth you know we've we've put mother earth through so much um it's so it's nice to give some healing back to her and send love to her and that all keeps us grounded at the same time now when you're doing your your everyday things for example mm-hmm. and you're going shopping or whatever you're doing is this a sort of spiritual and magical mystical realm something that you live with every day is it like two parts of your life yeah, or is it actually so. intertwined uh no to be honest with you it all, it all depends if, if i'm in a supermarket and i can really feel negative energy then i'll guardian angels please clear this energy <laughs> Okay. Dragon, dragons coming. Dragons are really good for clearing ley lines, and so if you've got any energy within your in and around you, you can get the dragons to come in. So if you're in a house and the house might have negative energy, mm-hmm. you can ask the dragons to come and clear all around the home, under the home, through the home, um, and purify it that way. So I always, before I go into like a supermarket, I always just clear the energy because obviously people are so tense right now with everything that's going mm-hmm. on. Um, so I always clear the energy and always have my guardian angels with me. But yeah, I just sort of, uh, for me, it's, whenever I need them, they're there. But when I don't need them, if I'm doing my 3D world stuff, um, <laughs> then, then it's, uh, yeah, then I just go on with, with what I need to do. You know, if you're doing a task or you're on a computer or, mm. or you're going to the shops, you don't, don't really need to be in that state. But no, it's, um, it's time and place, but they're always there with you no matter what whether you need them or not, they're there with you. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's something whether on a subtle level, whether we see it or don't. But what about people that you mix with and mm-hmm. friends or family or people that you associate with? Are you finding like a lot of people that you can only now feel peaceful in a way with people that are resonating on the same sort of level? Yeah, to be honest with you, a lot of my, the friends that I'm really close with are all, uh, most of them are shamans and on the um, spiritual path anyway. Um, mm. And then obviously I've got, got my old friends that I went to school with and, and stuff. But when I'm with them people, it's a totally different conversation. But I just, I do my thing. I don't have an opinion on um, on people. Um, whatever people want to do, they do. And whatever mm. You know, it's just, but your your true friends will always be with you. And if you grow in vibration at such a high rate, um, some might drop off um, because you're a higher resonance than them. And that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's not, it's not a problem. Um, people come to us as teachers. People come to us as, as lessons. 
Mm. Um, you know, there's no there's no wrong or right, but the more friends you can have in this world, the better. Never have too never have too many friends. It's, you can have as you should have as many friends as you possibly can all over the world, different continents, different cultures, and just just love everyone exactly the same. Yeah, it's a time for I think a lot of people now are discovering other people because of technology in a way, but not really. I think that technology is, you know, as opposed to it being our master, uh, it should be the other way around. Yes, Um, exactly, yeah. This is the thing, and I think this is the big difference where we think that we are slaves to it, but in fact, we should never be slaves to anything. So we can use things such as technology to our advantage as opposed to it controlling our lives. And the, the beauty of what you do is what I love what you do, Joby, is that you it bypasses everything that's going on in the world. Mm-hmm. And even for that half an hour, whatever, that we were doing the meditation for, you can really connect back to yourself, to that inner nature. Yeah, yeah, all the time. I, uh, I think that's really important for people to understand that as well. It's, mm-hmm. um, it's just being, being that... Be whoever you want to be. Be free. Have fun. Live life. You know, we only ever have a continuous flow of now. So no matter what is going on, whatever is happening in and around our lives, just know that when you're in the present moment, Mm. um, that's when we can be grounded. That's when we can be ourselves and we can just be whoever we want to be. There's no wrong. There's no right. It just, just is. Wonderful. And oh, my goodness, I, I tell you, I feel like I'm in a fairy tale now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be very disappointed that there's not a dragon in my garden. I'm going to say <laughs> Oh, they're, they're, they're probably there. You just can't see them. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. That's for sure. <laughs> now, Joby, where can people get more of this uh, fantastic work uh, that you do or if they want to do one to one? Yeah, so if people want to connect with me, um, you can go to my website, b2hbreathwork.com, um, and they can connect for a private session there, meditation, sound bath, uh, guided meditations like this, um, mystical um, experiences. Um, and then they can also, if they want to have some breath work or they want to have some healing, they can also book book through there too. And then uh, my social media accounts are under... Um, uh, B2H Breathwork as well or oh, my personal one um, on my Facebook is Joby Bowie so yeah it's pretty pretty simple okay and you can do one to one over the phone or are you meeting people now uh, I know I'm, I'm meeting people to be honest with you I haven't I've been meeting people anyway because I work with mental health and anxiety mm. and stress um, people need need support um, so Absolutely. I've been I, I've been um, obviously doing doing the right things but I needed to help people at the same time so okay excellent now as always let's leave on a beautiful note to sort of an icing and a cherry on the top type of thing of this beautiful episode thank you so much it's really been a wonderful experience Joby thank you I'm glad you enjoyed it oh absolutely oh my goodness and have you have you got um an album or anything like that in the pipeline? An album? <laughs> a music album? Of, well, a, like a meditation album? Yeah, well, to be fair, we're working on a... We've just released our first um, meditation song. Um, oh. Yeah, so we've just done that. And now we're releasing... We're, we're back in the studio, actually, tomorrow to get start the next one. So, yeah, a, a meditation album will come. Um mm-hmm. But like it's more more music. Um, we've got a beautiful singer that sings with us, Lena Queen. Um, she's got the most magical angelic voice. Um, so yeah, so we've, I'm very blessed to have her um, have her in my life and with with her singing voice. So so yeah, so there's lots of um, different stuff coming out. We will be doing. I will be talking and doing some like talking on the records as well so we're going to really try and inspire people and help people heal through through the sounds that we're uh, going to be bringing out so. 
And where can um, we have a look at that? Okay, so the record at the moment is up on SoundCloud or YouTube. It's on my YouTube channel, Breathe to Heal, uh, Mm -hmm. which is probably the easiest place. Not many people have SoundCloud. But yeah, SoundCloud um, is getting up. We're trying to get it up on Spotify and everything over the next couple of days. We've literally just released it... uh, couple of days ago not long um mm-hmm. so yeah we're okay. just one channel we're just getting up, up on the channels that we can and um yes yeah, so it'll be if you go to youtube the songs on there it's called breathe uh featuring lena queen and um yeah go check it out it's, it's a beautiful beautiful sound piece it really is i'm going to do that later on yeah tonight. i can send i can send it to you if you like so if you can if please you wanna, do yeah yeah and if you want to put it in the description or whatever so people can hear it that'd be uh mm-hmm. be beautiful and any support yeah i will do have... i will do send me the link and i put it in yeah. the episode details and Excellent. then people can click on and um have a look why oh, not of lovely course. thank you so much just really appreciate it okay you're very welcome and give us a little message before you go okay. of your wonderful wisdom Joby. okay no worries so I just want to say to you all, no matter what's going on, it's now time to let it go. It's time to release. Know you're in control. Know that you are a powerful, divine, cosmic being of love and light, emanating from all that is and all that will ever be, made of nothing but unconditional love. It's time to step in your power. It's time to really live the life you desire and deserve to have. So whatever you are going for, go for it. Um, you can do it. And know you're truly blessed and supported and guided with every step you take. Oh. oh, how beautiful. We need to hear that. We need to hear that every day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we? We need to hear that every day of our life and to remind ourselves of such beautiful words. Thank you, Joby. Oh, my pleasure. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, when are we doing number three? <laughs> whenever you want, whenever you want. What are we going to meet next time? I think, I don't know, you let me know. I think we should do a unicorn, uh, maybe meditation next time if you want to. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Come back again yeah, and perfect. we can do a unicorn one and then I'll have a little kip in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I have Just to say to the listeners, it's so great um, to have, you know, Jody on the show. And people, you know, that come on that are so knowledgeable and, you know, do so much um, for humanity. But what's also good is that I, I thoroughly enjoy, absolutely, you know, today was just amazing. And I feel like I'm five now. Yeah, so. bring, out, bring, bring out your inner child. Oh, that's one you should do. Yeah, I can do inner child. I've got can a you do that? Yeah, I've got some amazing meditations for inner child. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, the inner child's really important mm. because if the inner child's not healed, we're not healed. Okay, let's do it. We can yeah. do that one. We'll well, do the, that you, the unicorn will tie in with the inner child anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, so we can we can do the both, both in one. Excellent, excellent. And one more question before you go, because there's a thousand and one I could ask. You, but, <laughs> um, I have to ask you, and I don't know if it's a secret and if you're allowed to share it, but You've met dragons and unicorns and such things, haven't you? Yes, yeah. I've, uh, through obviously through the work we do, um, mm. yeah. I've been that's and the thing is, it's like it's obviously in a spiritual sense, uh, but it's not like I've got a physical dragon. It's like it's spiritual, but mm. they're there. They are they are one hundred percent real. It's just a matter of connecting in and. Um, and really just just believe in bring out your inner child like your inner mm. child wants you to have this your inner child needs it uh, but it's also they bring so much strength guidance protection mm. no matter what you're going through they can they will protect you um, so yeah it's just a matter of calling in and um, and just just have fun like mm. no inhibitions just let go surrender as part of your healing it's just letting go and just go for it have fun have fun indeed have fun and um enjoy you know because what was coming to me as you were doing this whole meditation was wouldn't it be amazing if we could do some work where we are actually talking to that 
child that we were once Mm -hmm. that still exists within us. Oh, yeah, if we can do that. (laughs) Yeah, I mean. (laughs) We can do that. Uh, Yeah, we can we can do that that's yeah. excellent yeah i've got a lot of uh, inner child work that we that i work with on my clients so mm-hmm. yes so we can uh, there's no problem at all brilliant 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 um have you got anything interesting for the rest of the day uh more uh, more clients mm-hmm. and uh, just helping some few more people and then um that is that is it so i'll be finished about 10 o'clock tonight um okay yeah, 10, 11 o'clock, I should be finished. Um, so, yes, but Fridays are always a long day. Uh, but, yeah, I love it. I, I wouldn't complain or change it in any way, shape or form. It's, uh, it's beautiful helping people overcome and just empower themselves. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, it is and beautiful. Yourself. And yourself. And it's very blessed. And me, well, I'm in the middle, actually, of doing a book another book oh and wow yeah okay, yeah yeah i'm in the middle of doing another book and you know people say to me just write a book i was having this conversation with somebody the other day write a book and you know but you know how long it takes to write a book oh you can just knock something up in the week <laughs> you know as you do no you bloody can't so <laughs> yeah. no you can't so yes i've got work on that to do i have another um, I have a collaboration actually with a friend of mine, and we're producing an album mm-hmm. um, together. Um, so that's something also that I'm working on. So yeah, things like that. And I find that I work well very late at night. That's sort of um, okay. Yeah. More inspirational. I don't know about you. Someone said to me the other day they was mm. they, they work really well at night. They were in because all of the energies of the earth have gone down, so it allows them to create even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's absolutely the truth. And mm. I'm one of those people who love the night and the night energy, and because it's a completely different energy yeah, to course. the day energy, yeah. as you know. You know, um, it, there's something about the way that the earth, quite rightly, as you said vibrates differently Mm. and there's a settlement where it allows your own sort of energy to be more productive i feel yeah nice i like Mm. it well i look forward to to reading the book again yes yes i've got to get on with it now (laughs) (laughs) i've got Uh, to get on with it i've got to get on with it but um (sighs) you know how good luck good luck thank you very much and do you have a book coming at all maybe Uh, uh, someone said this to me the other day I should write a book but mm. um, it's the first off, I've never thought about it to be honest but I feel it may be it's time <laughs> I think it would be an excellent book and especially with what you've been through mm. because yeah, your story is so inspirational yeah exactly I, do you know what it's, I think I've it's probably been there for a while but I've just put it off put it off put it off <laughs> Uh, but yes, now maybe it's a good time. Maybe we can inspire even more people. Absolutely, because that's what we need. We need inspirational stories. And if you can do it, you know, after everything that you've been through, then really, Everyone any of us, can. yeah, of course, you know, yeah. any of us, we, we've all got our limitations. You know, sometimes it's physical, and there are some things physically because of illness, or you know, we can't. But there's so much of what we can do that it shouldn't overshadow what we can't, you know, what we can't do shouldn't overshadow what we can do. Yes, I like that. I like Uh, that. All right, then. uh, Until next time. Until next time. (laughs) Thank you so much. Such Such a beautiful gift and blessing and so grateful. All right. Thank you, Joby. Take care. All right. See you later. Bye. 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 Joby Bowie. What an interesting concept. Meditating with dragons. Something to entice our imaginations. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, take care and lots of love. Thank you for listening to Secrets for an Inspirational Life. Brought to you by your host, Mimi Novik. Please remember to subscribe to the podcast and see you in the next episode.
For more information about Mimi Novik and her books, music, and inspirational work, take a look at her website, www.miminovic.co.uk.